family's going on vacation for about a week and we're gonna have somebody come check on the chickens maybe once or twice but let me show you how we're planning to do this uh, without much daily care so we've got one two three automatic feeders in here those are all five gallon buckets holding you know just about a 40 pound pound bag of feed that's a 55 gallon drum uh, automatic chicken waterer there as you can see we've got an automatic door on this coop automatic door on that coop and let's walk next door to the other run so this run is going to have I'll probably bring one of those other automatic feeders over here. So there's one five gallon feeder. There'll be two five gallon automatic water buckets. Uh, and this end of this coop has an automatic door as well. Uh, and we've got uh, two enclosed runs. We've got this big one here and this big one here. And while we separate this coop uh, during breeding season, uh, we probably won't uh, for this time around uh, so the flock here and all four roosters that we have uh, will be commingled and they've been seeming to get along pretty well and then as you guys know we have uh, some smaller guys in here some babies i'll give you an idea of what we got going on in here so that needs to be cleaned out today but we've got one automatic water down here automatic feeder down here and then up here we've got one automatic water, two feeders. So the hope really being that uh, somebody maybe needs to come on check in once or twice, collect eggs, but otherwise we can probably have a pretty seamless vacation uh, without much worry. Um, one of the great things that we have here, we've got a camera here, there we go, to see the coop yard, and then in addition to these automatic doors, we've got cameras in this yard, uh, two, and then we've got a camera over here in the uh, smaller yard as well, just so we can see if the doors are opened and everybody's out and about. Uh, so it should be a pretty seamless vacation, fingers crossed anyway.